Um, there was a report uh, last year about sort of Game of Thrones being the most pirated show on Twin Peaks. Um, so what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, look, it's the good news and the bad news, right? The the the, the good news is a lot of people want to see it. Over 12 and a half million people are watching it legally, and most of that pirating is occurring overseas. And we're going to do what we can to bring that down, and we're going to do what we can, obviously, to bring it down in the United States as well. Um, and so, you know, one of the other things that people are talking about a lot of the most important thing yeah. we have a very large audience who's watching it on HBO and on HBO Go and on HBO On Demand, and that's that's the most gratifying piece of information. Um, so you guys are on all these screens now. You know, you're sort of on all these platforms. What do you think is sort of the next step from a tech perspective for where HBO goes from here? Well, listen, our whole model is optionality for our customer and a great value for our customer. So what we're saying to everybody is we're going to give you a whole lot of programming across a lot of different genres for Hollywood movie studios, series, comedy, sports, docus, original movies, and then we're going to let you watch those on whatever screens you want to watch them on. And as long as we give that for a fair price, we like our model very much. So to build on that a little bit, you know, how do you, what do you think is going to be different about HBO, say, five or ten years from now, in terms of the distribution model? Listen, the most, the most important thing for us is creating content that is addictive, what, I, what we call passion engagement content, that of our 30 million customers, our 30 million consumers, that they are addicted to. And if we continue to create great content, then the means of distribution, um, well, very important, people are going to find it. And so what we want to do with HBO Go is give people as much optionality as we possibly can. So they can watch it on their Kindle, they can watch it on their PlayStation, they can watch it on their iPad, they can watch it on their Android, whatever they want. And that's our goal. Where do I think we'll be in five years? I think there may be even more optionality, but with our partners, with our partners in the cable business, satellite business, and the telco business, maybe even a broadband only HBO delivery system. Who knows? We'll see where that goes down the road. So how does uh, season three of Game of Thrones compare to the other seasons? Look, I've seen them all, and I must tell you, um, I, I, I sent an email which is not fit for to be quoted in your distinguished... Uh, in your We're not the distinguished, you can quote it. In your, no, 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 I can't say what I said about the season, but it's a, it's a version of, you know, holy shit. And um, I said to David and Dan, mesmerizing would be an would be an understatement. So all I can tell you, you're in for you're 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 in for ten of the most stunning hours of television that you have ever seen. I can, right, I, I can promise you that. I look forward to it. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having us.